So hello everyone, uh, this is going to be some, a video with some test hands for Luna Light Tear that a lot of people have been requesting since the last deck profile. I have with me uh, Senchen, who, if you want to say hi. Hi, that's it. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he helped me a lot with the deck and we've been jumping ideas back and forth and he played with Luna Lights for... How many formats have I played with Luna Light? I, I know you did it with Tri Brigades. Yeah. Like, ever since Tiger came back. Ever since Tiger came back. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then, so you introduced me to the combos. We, we, we tried ideas of what might work and might not work with for Terra, so... Anyways, we're gonna show some test hands. This is just a basic combo idea of why why we were playing Foolish Barrier Goods and of some of the synergies we might have. Uh, I also have a replay of a hand like this playing in a real game and how you might play this out. And then we're just going to do some test hands with a DB and showing how we might think throughout a combo and how we route our plays. So this this uh, this hand, just Foolish Burial, Sand Serenade Dance, Serenade pitching Soliac, and Soliac keep getting a name. Uh, right here, I don't, I'm not sure if you agree, uh, Sand, but if we pretty much have nothing else, I think getting Sharon here is fine. Cause... I mean, in general, if you in general, if you don't really know what to get, it's bad, but you don't you also really know where your combo is going. It's always better to get Sharon because it's the most flexible main. Yeah, definitely, and it's also it being a rank four that you can just put on on field. Because if you get the Luna Light engine online, uh, getting a four is really valuable. So yeah, uh, Serenade is gonna get get you Chick. Chick is gonna send a Martin. Mar Martin is gonna bounce Chick, and then you're gonna normal Chick again. To get Kagasushi, and that's how you get your place kind of started with this round. You waste your normal summon, uh, your your names get stuck under Kagetsushi, that's something you gotta be mindful of. But you should have ways of taking it off, and that's one of the, the perks of playing something like Cross Sheep, but it's gonna come up later. Uh, here, and it's one of the reasons I send a replay, because if, if this hand like gets you nothing, you kind of can't play. So here we have th three very good mills. Uh, three very good mills and one that's very good as well, which is anti-spell, yeah. so... Hoven is being a name, Snow being a very, very good extender, Perfume getting you Tiger Access and uh, anti-spell is just something so you don't have to go through Curious to send it, so you can send an extender, for example. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Here, you just go for Kit. In this case, since we have technically no other way of playing, we, we have to get merely to mill 8. And it's also uh, something to keep in mind, because sometimes you get a, with Kit, you dump Merle to the graveyard and it questions from, from from the graveyard, but it's very good to keep in mind that if you have Perfume or if you have Serenade, you just add it to your hand and you get a free discard, a free body for it. And it's a small interaction people probably know, but it just gets you a little bit further in the combos. You generally want to be, I mean, you should always prioritize trying to add the trap, but like a lot of the times you can't, or like especially in a test hand like this where you're still when it's in such a vacuum, you only have like two cards to play with. Like you, you are gonna do mill eight a lot. Yeah, definitely. Because this is not a scenario that will come up. This is just like, oh, I have this. What can I kind of go off? Because if you look at our other hands, like a, a game in a real hand, you're gonna have other cards that you're gonna, uh, what do you say? You're gonna pivot from th these cards into the others. And uh, Foolish Barrier of Goods is just the, the main pivot you can start with that connects both engines generally. But uh, for example, at the start, which is something I showed at the start, but we kind of started just after it, is that if you have Sulik and Foolish Barrier of Goods, like, you can just send Sulik, get a Terra name, like Rhino if you have another in hand, or just share in normal summon it and passive Sulik, and that's a guaranteed fusion, guaranteed interruption. You don't play into any RNG. But. It's probably not going to win you a lot of games. And realistically, you're always going to have like more extenders and stuff in your hand, like yeah. such bare bones. Yeah, even even like if you just go share in mill three, the chances that you mill something that you can extend are so high that you basically don't have a hand where you're not going to do anything. Also, I forgot to check chat. Okay, so uh, we're going to mill mill eight here. So we get a name, we get Zephyrus. Okay, so we get two names in Zephyrus, which is which is uh, something we would expect mill, milling eight. 
Zephyrus is really nice. Now we have basically both extenders in your graveyard. We have Tiger Access. The only better thing we could mill here would be Emerald. But it would even be better if we milled that later. But now I'm going to set up Cross Sheep. And this is something you do in the middle of the combo. You just get Garuda in the zone that Cross Sheep points you. Uh, here I wasted a kit. I could have made... Actually, no. I, I wanted to make Mud Dragon. Because this is... Mm -hmm. You just got a body. But the other only other dark I could have used was Zephyrus. And I think it's better to just wait, waste kit here than waste Zephyrus. You're gonna get kit back anyways later on the opponent's turn with like Kalia or something, so... Yeah. But it's still very nice to be mindful that you always want to get kit back in the extra. Because uh, it makes your, your interactions on your opponent's turn that much better. So yeah, here we make a cross sheep. So anything we summon to the cross sheep zone, we're gonna get another body. We unfortunately already used all our tear names, so something you usually do with cross sheep is bring, bring back a, a tear limit name, so that if you get nibbed, for example, right here, if we had a tear limit name, we still got a fusion. But uh, in this test center, we're forced to use all of our names, mainly because we started just do cards. But yeah, now just go curious. Uh, something we talked about the other day, me and Senchen, was that... Uh, in the spell canceler version of the deck, you kind of have to go curious too, so that you don't draw a spell canceler. But uh, on this version, since you're just searching for anti spell or some extenders, there's no point on not doing your virtue to not draw anything. And here I said Vivid Tail, which is uh, something that wasn't in my deck profile, but it's something I'm playing with a lot nowadays. And uh, it's just a Mystic Mine out, but it's also a card that can raise your ceiling and raise your interactions in ways that. Uh, isn't that common in Yu-Gi-Oh, I feel like. Because bouncing... I don't know, bouncing of cards for free to your hand is something you don't often see. Like, um, I can't really think of, of an effect that does that. Like, for example, Soft Frog. Soft Frog bouncing any hand trap to your hand or any other frog is something that is, is very powerful and is an interaction that you don't often see. Um... I don't actually remember what we go from here, so let's see. Oh yeah, we milled 3 for Curious, make Apollo for 2, mm -hmm. Tiger against no, and I think, yeah, I think we just go Griffin here and like standard What's stuff. What's important to note that is that when you're, like earlier in the combo when you milled those two tier names and you made Garuda and Kiklos, you always want to be making Garuda, not just because of like the 3 plus 1, but often since all the cards in your hand are always live and gassed and you want to be using them, you can run out of cards in hand really quickly. And Garuda always, that midway through your combo, you will have a discard for Griffin. Yeah, and it's also a very important typing. Because you have Beast Warriors, you have Winged Beasts with him, and you have uh, Aquas, which are the main types you're going to have. So having one more name in rotation. If you didn't see any dangers, because for example, in this test hand, we didn't see any dangers. So we kind of needed to go Garuda to have another type. So yeah, that was just the, the basic combo. So uh, here we have a hand. Uh, True Sharon, Snow. So unless we mill something, our hand is not that good. But it's at the very least Redoer with uh, Snow and Graveyard with some fodder. And and the trap is... Yeah, the trap. The trap is uh, was guaranteed. Here's unfortunate. I think I made a mistake here. Actually, just at the start is something you can analyze. I don't think uh, because we milled both Sharon and Merly. Uh, I don't remember what I was thinking that I decided not to use Merly, but I think using Merly there was correct because I was still gonna have a Sharon on board. To, it better. It plays a little bit better around Nib. But yeah. Zone management is important for your fusions, but so yeah. Also, here I do the play where I search Merly, that I'm going to tag out, and then send it for Perfume. She just got a free body, basically. So here I milled Perfume, and then a lot of names we can't use. I don't want to use Rhino, because I want to keep Trapping Hands as Interruption. I already used both Sharon, and we got some Dark Names, so these are all useful, and these are all Snow Father at the very least, but yeah, nothing we can... 
Mm. It's always nice having the Rhino in Graveyard so you can collide a heart on their turn. Because a lot of times you won't actually have Rhino access and you really shouldn't be going out of your way for Rhino access. So it's always nice to nail it. Even that's if true, that's using true. It. Yeah, uh, because we're only playing one Rhino, uh, like you said, but it's, it's hard at times that you're specifically dumping Rhino unless you have... You, you must have already Trap in hand plus a Name in hand that you haven't used and that you want to use to get like something like a Ruin Field, and that's the only situation you're kind of dumping Rhino. But otherwise, yeah, like you said, it's, uh, it's very good to manage your Rhinos. So here we get basic Cheek Tiger average gameplay. Uh, here we have Marley, so now we have you. Even if we got Nip there, we had at least a fusion that was gonna do, and we could do a Kaido Heart here with Snow. And that is usually enough to beat. Is is usually good enough to beat a sprite on its own. But uh, going Tiger Suji here is pretty nice, because it's a higher chance to see a name and like more positive mills, and like so that you can set up a cross street play. Because like here you could technically not go for Tiger Suji and just like Turbo Curious or something, but. This, I think, gives you better odds. Yeah, and also because, we, uh, like I said, our odds of million names are so high because the, the names we already have used are only Sharon, and we have three Sharons in rotation. So we have five live names in deck, and we're milling five cards out of 23, so that's pretty good chance we're going to mill something. And we still have Zephyrus, we still have Soliac, we still have uh, Anti-Spell we want to mill. Like, we want to mill a lot of stuff here, so I think Kage Tsushi here is just pretty fucking, uh, pretty correct. Shouldn't and yeah. Like Turbo, you shouldn't be like autopiloting on Kagutsuchi every time, but like a lot of a lot of the time it is correct. Yeah, I actually think uh, most of the games, if we analyze, like most of the games we win die roll. I don't think we're gonna be turboing out Kagutsuchi at all. I think Kagutsuchi is something we usually do when we don't win die roll and we're getting interrupted, because uh, yeah. it's usually a way of turning uh, Luna Light bodies into advantage after you got interrupted on the tears. Yeah. So yeah, uh, here we, we had a name, so we made Garuda, and then we turned the name we already spent, plus Kagetsushi into Kashi. You always want to get rid of Kagetsushi as soon as possible, because it, it frees up your Blue Light names, and you also want to keep the Terrament name on board. Since it's not a dark, it's not really useful for anything else. Yeah, Crush Ship is just a Apollo father like 99% of the time. Sometimes if you're going second, like I said in the deck profile, you end up making Goddess with it. Uh, can't show the extra deck, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, it becomes either Goddess, Dark, or Apollo. Yeah. Curious of Garura. It's unfortunate that I drew Solik here, but uh, I immediately go and dump uh, Serenade Dance with Curious, so I got a way of getting into rotation, which is very nice. Oh, so yeah, Vivid Tail and Graveyard, always nice to have in rotation. Especially because you're going to see we're going to get mined, so that's going to come up. I think if there's anything to comment here. But uh, you're, you're basically just going to the motions of the combo. Uh, discarding Super Poly is... I think it's kind of what you have to do, because you want to keep everything else in your hand. Uh, the, you didn't know you were going to draw this happiness, but this is the end board you're pretty much always trying to, to go for. I think this is the, the ideal end board. So. And don't be scared to like discard Super Poly in your combos, because this deck, like, it doesn't have that much in hand. Like, you don't maintain hand size that well, so it's, it's pretty unlikely that you'll end up actually having being able to keep your Super Poly and the discard for it. It's nice when it comes up, but like, don't be scared to like to, to discard it away for your perfumes or something. Yeah, especially because uh, you'd rather keep stuff in hand for follow up than stuff on board. Because even if you, you, your board is very well protected, but stuff in hand is just generally safer. What we could have done here as well, uh, but I think it plays a little bit worse into a Mystic Mind, is that we could have Vivid Tailed to get anything back to the, from our board on our hand. Probably Tiger. I often do this with Tiger because they have a tier name on hand plus Soliac, and I don't want to discard any of these two. And even though Tiger is insane follow up, I just Vivid Tail back to hand and then discard it with Griffin. And that's a very cool interaction. 
But yeah, we're gonna get Cyclone. Because they, they have a very good hand, don't get me wrong, but it's pretty much one of the only hands that can try and play through the setup. Which is Cosmic and Mystic Mind. So here I get rid of my whole board. Because I'm gonna play under Vivid Tail. And uh, because he knows I have Vivid Tail, he's gonna actually try and play. So it's not as simple. What I'm gonna do here is uh, wait until he actually commits bodies enough on board so I can lock him under his own Mystic Mind. Uh, here I have to chain a uh, Vivid Tail before doing them early. And now we're in a position where he can try to play, but he's gonna have to always out Kaleido, Suliac, and I can make him go under his own mind at any moment. It's kind of an empty threat, because we don't have uh, another out to mine. So if we mine him, and he's just like, okay, I'm just gonna deck you out now, we kind of lose. So we gotta be mindful of that as well. But yeah, just passing here, and he knows that in his end phase he has to play or he loses. And I bounced back to hand. Yeah. Now he, he admits the fit because uh, if he goes end phase, I just bounce it back. Uh, Kaleido. Kaleido even triggers feels like say, he goes uh, he sets one and go, goes end phase or try to, tries to play or even leaves a body on the field so I can't out the mine by just mine itself. I can just bounce this and then this triggers field as well. So I get two pops on his end phase basically. And uh, Game 2 was just a bit of a meme. I didn't know he was playing a, a meme variant, but yeah. So uh, let's go to some fast hands. I'm, I think I'm just going to do Chew, and then I'm going to go to sleep, and then I'm going to record some more, or see if there's any interesting scenarios I want to show. Because it's uh, already kind of late. But this is nice. This is just a full tear hand, and we, could, we can see if we're going to get to Loom Lights. How would you start this hand, by the way? It's pretty interesting. Well, I mean, Reino's always... I mean, uh, you're always using the field spot to grab Reino here, but... Debating between starting off with Shayrin or just, like, normal summoning Merly to get your mills on. Mm -hmm. I think it's safe if you just uh, field spell, add Reino, and then pitch it for Shayrin. Go from there. Yeah, I agree with that play as well. I think that gets the most names in rotation. Hands with just tier cards is always going to be very variable on your mills. Well, it, it depends. Because, for example, in this hand, because we already have the trap, we are always going to mill 8. Oh, this is good, because we're going to be able to show ways of getting Tiger back. So, uh, yeah, just go chain link 1, chain link 2. So we're going to get oh, hit. Hard. Hmm? Discard the Merly, right? Yeah, discard the Merly. Because we're going to use it to mill 8 anyways. Uh... I don't think you activate it, though. No, I don't activate Merly. I'm thinking if I activate Rhino, if there's anything I want to send here. But I kind of just want to leave everything deck. I think if anything, I just go Chin League 1 and Chin League 2 to give uh, Kit Kalos a little bit of extra protection. And I will just oh, dump... You... Sorry? Chain have you already used already? Because you can dump the name you used. Yeah, Sharon. I was going to dump Sharon. Yeah. I was about to say that. And then you just... just... Oh, you forgot to get the add off Kit Kalos. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't even know the... Or, or, like, a matter of halfness, or... It really doesn't matter at this point. You can do Sharon to technically give you yourself better mills. Uh, yeah, I, I like that idea. Just get Sharon so we have all three names in rotation, so we're never milling it anymore. It, whatever you add here is likely going to be the discard fodder later on, anyway. So yeah. So yeah, uh, for Tiger, we we want to see basically Serenade Dance to get us to. Yeah, I, I think Serenade Dance should get us to Emerald, because then we can go a Redora. That's a very scuffed line, but we can also just see Emerald straight away. First, first just mill A and see what happens, because yeah. you're... I was just thinking of other things we could have gotten. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so basically we just milled perfume from here. I think we just go perfume, pitch, Sharon. Okay. And I think we kind of have to go for a. Um... Hmm, this is awkward. Because we can catch cross sheep to get tiger out. But since we already used Sharon, we can't go redo her for it. This might be just a, a hand we've just played with Terrace because we didn't mill any of the access points. Yeah. Actually, we, we can go Serenade Dance because it can go Lunalight, uh, we can go Perfume, Pitch Sharon, get Emerald, Normal Sum, uh, sorry, uh, get Martin, uh, Martin and, and Sharon, but then we don't have a way of pitching the Emerald, yeah, the, the Serenade from hand. This is unfortunate. Uh, I think this, is, yeah. this is just a, like a pure tier kind of board. Yeah, which is honestly fine, like. It's we haven't, element, right? yeah, because this is our fifth summon, and we're gonna pass like this. If they try to nip us, we just go redo her. We got Merle, we Are get Kaleido. I think we're, I think so. I don't yeah. know. You can. Uh... We can go with uh, Dweller if you want, but yeah, you could you could Dweller, yeah, you can always Dweller here with like Snow plus Normal Summon Shaven or like. Or no. Uh, with snow and then uh, perfume, pitch the shaven for a chick and then use those two. If we're blind, because uh, if we dwell her here, we're not going to have enough uh, names to banish for the next turn, I think. Yeah. So, and I, I think I value blindly just keeping snow and graveyard because we're, we're banishing a lot of good stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, this hand was uh, unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. Like this is like this is let's say the the highest ceiling the hand could get, could go, which is not bad, like honestly, just for a tear board. This doesn't get dark ruler. This still has dweller and, lock. This has. And you, and you didn't open like any like uh, lunar light card, which is and you play like eleven effective copies of them. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's try another one. Or or any danger which can possibly go into them and. Yeah, we're, we're very, very likely to see both halves of the engine. Okay, so here we have a hand with Foolish Barrier of Goods. And for example, in that previous hand, if you had milled a fusion name, made Garuda, and then done a cross sheep thing into Curious, gotten another draw, and that, that drastically increases the chance of you seeing engine. Yeah, that's true. Just, a... Just like an easy way that hand could have like converted into much more. It's always a trade-off of a guaranteed interaction for high rolling into your mills, I feel. For example, here we we basically went for guaranteed interactions, whereas I think we could have, like you said, we I think we had a probably way of going curious there, but it oh, wasted yeah. a lot no, of resources. Just more uh, gambling. But... Yeah. And in general, gambling is uh, not something you want to be doing if you want to get really? far in tournaments. Early on, we could have used, instead of keeping the, the Merle and Grave, we could have used that to go straight for uh, Garuda. Mm -hmm. To get that guaranteed fusion, but then that's generally more neg in resources, and it doesn't really lead much into much more without like going to worse odds. Whereas I think just going straight for the mill 8 gives you much better odds there. Yeah, yeah. Because even if you go for Garuda, uh, I think we were one body short of setting up cross ship and triggering it, so we had an Apollos as well before we go to yeah. Curious. Because we only had a way of normal summoning, we didn't have a special summon. Okay, a new hand. So this hand we have a, a few ways to start off. Because I, I like both starting with Fulsburgo, but I also like starting with Sharon Mill, uh, Sharon Mill Merley. To yeah, because I... getting perfume engraved here with a random mill is just a lot of value because you have a danger in hand. Mm -hmm. And we, we could have just got it from perfume, but then we're not guaranteed any other Luna Light name. You can you can just try the field spell first. Yeah, I think I think this is a yeah. good way to start because we're not locking you know, your, we're not committing to anything yet. In general, in hands like these, you, like. Even if the, the normal summon is free and all that stuff, you should be going for Sharon first over the Vein of Heart. 
because Rain of Heart is just much more interruptible and it's not really that plus. Yeah, in general, you don't ever go Rain of Heart. I I, yeah. I found. Rain of Heart's really just there for like utility. Mm -hmm. Sharon is like the tier name you want the most here. Here, since we milled a Loon Light and a name, so this is free. I'm you thinking. Just use, those, just use those two into Kickless on you. Add a trap. You could go uh, Havnus with Sheeran, keep Burly, get Trap, and get Mill 8. So I was thinking you use those two to get Kickless, get the Trap, then send a uh, Perfume, discard the Danger. Then get Tiger, and then that sets up like a whole cost sheep curious kind of thing. I think we're I think we're one special summon short from that actually. Because look, uh, let 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 me see let me see. Because if we go here, we get Kit and this. Mm -hmm. Get Celiac. This fish perfume. Oh, actually, we're not. Yeah, my bad. We're not short yeah, at yeah. all. Because this gets a uh, body by itself. And then you get the two Chinoko. Yeah, Chinoko. Oh, uh, get your tiger. <laughs> you, forgot ti you forgot the tiger. I know, I'm getting it. It's just a ti tiger is not an important card, Lamal. Yeah. And yeah. Now you can tiger here. And this makes. And make sure to get back one of the dangers. Make sure to get with cross sheep. Yeah, because we're still we're getting a uh, Sharon back regardless. Yeah. And then here we go for Kit Kalos. So here we already have Curious, but we're also gonna mill eight, and we have a, a big, a good chance of making a river here. Let's mill five. Yeah. You yeah. wanna, you wanna these kind of mills out of the way first before you Curious, because Curious is more committal, and you have to pre send stuff. So. So we only used Merly. So. so now you're just simply Gorilla. Yeah. You get your kit back to the extra deck, which is very good. Generally, you you want always want to be using kit to make the Garura here. Yeah. Like you could use the free Nessies, and you'd think keeping the kit in graveyard for Paleo is fine, but like Garura is already the fusion name for Paleo. It this is more recycling. Yeah. Just I'm sorry, my cat is just joking all over the place. Also, people requested a cat. Here's the cat. Hello. Yeah. I'm just cat jumping all over the place. Her name is Luna, by the way. Oh, Which yeah. is funny. Uh, I completely lost myself where we were. So we can go Curious here. Do we do, do we go Serenade Dance first to get Martin to rotation? Mm. It makes a. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine because you're you're gonna if you because you can mill Martin here, which is good mill. But if you don't mill Martin, then you can Serenade it. Yeah, I'm kind of scared of drawing Martin, which would kind of suck. But you you mill you uh do uh. Draw one uh, curious too, so you mill first before you draw. Well, we're we're never sending Martin here regardless, right, so yeah, our odds the same. So I think we still just do Garuda one. Garuda two, sorry. And if you draw Garuda, then like, I mean, if you draw Martin here, I'm sure you still have other ways around it. But this is fine. Uh, we okay we uh. We, use, we yeah, didn't use Hovness, so now this is our last name. I think it's the best Riskate user right now, but... Uh... Here it's uh, always a question of like, uh, in these kind of spots, typically with your last name, because your first two fusion summons are almost always going to be Kiklos and Karura, mm -hmm. sometimes that are way around. But here you want to decide between if you can make Mud Dragon and keep it, if you need the bodies, or if you can make uh, Paleo. I here, think... Here you, here you really need to look ahead and like count your bodies to see, can I end on Paleo along with like... The Apo, Griffin, Dweller stuff, which a lot of the time you can, but here you need to see ahead. I think here we're gonna be fine because we're gonna get both a body from Griffin, both a body from Serenade getting Martin. And then we're also gonna yeah, get yeah. Martin and Tiger, and then Tiger again from Zephyrus, which gets us. We, we already have all the bodies we need, so now you just go Paleo here. Yeah, and also Paleo is. Yeah. I put it under the cross sheep, or. I mean, no, no, those, no, no. Like... It has to be here. It has to be here. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter as long as you like. Do your zones right, yeah. It matters a bit because you're gonna go we Apollo like here. Because yeah. Cross Sheep is gonna turn into Apollo and then Griffin is gonna come here so we can get a draw. Now you just uh, Serenade, right? Yeah, Serenade. 
ended with the field spell, I imagine, or while you were. Mm. I almost want to disc. I almost want to keep field spell in hand, but I think we're gonna discard it, both of those anyways. So I don't think it matters. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're discarding both anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, here I want to go Zephyrus and make Apollo right. with yeah. Cross Sheep, Yellow, and Zephyrus. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to do that first. Yeah. Just Zephyrus. And uh, now you start playing fast if you're in a tournament because you took four hundred. Smile. So, yeah. Uh, don't play as counter as ever. Just remember, because this is just helping your opponent. But uh, we're gonna put it for the video's sake. Uh, so yeah, just. You just revive a name, and then yeah. We can also get a. Uh, we can also get Dweller here. No, you, you were definitely getting both Griffin and Dweller here. Right? Yeah. So just get Chick, and then this makes Griffin. I mean, one thing I want to note is that like sometimes. You don't want to be making Griffin under the Appalooza zone, directly co-linked, because sure you get the draw, but like sometimes let's say you ended on like a really big board and you want you want Griffin to point to the other zone under DMZ, so you get the most amount of zones for like your Snow, your Paleo, your Dweller, for your everything. So yeah. Like sometimes. Yeah. It it okay. And, and in this hand, for example, like your draw really didn't matter. Like you getting a draw here really didn't matter. Yeah, but I I think it's a nice draw in perfume because then we get to keep Tiger in hand, which is a bit safer, especially because this hand uh, gets obliterated by evenly matched because we didn't see his null. So if we get evenly here, we uh, you might as well just scoop. Yeah. Like we're we're really messing snow here because we have zero evenly protection because our only evenly protection is chick and while you're gonna get it uh something like 80 percent of the games this is one of the games we didn't get it with a, with a legitimate saw half our deck mm. but yeah and i mean like here um what was i gonna say e even if they do have evenly like the, if it's like versus the mirror match for example it's not that bad because you have dweller and then you can either keep like a polo or a griffin or something yeah. and then you have the tiger for follow-up so it's not like the absolute worst if, you, if it's in the mirror match or something here yeah yeah you, i i think you probably keep griffin here mm -hmm. if you get evenly in the mirror just because they have to get two bodies to make or like to get something in the dmz well actually just one body to get the kit so for example this board loses the super poly but um, we're just doing this blind, so we're just assuming, like if if you know you're playing versus the mirror or something, you never uh, give them a super poly opportunity like, like here. So well, it kind of loses super poly because they're gonna super poly because you, you're gonna go anti spell fragrance, then they're gonna super poly, and then you're gonna dweller. They're gonna try to pull a pelia. You're gonna polo. So that they're I still mean, gonna be under. Have, yeah, even if they do have super poly, it's actually not that bad because like your your tier will trigger, and like you lose pelia, but you don't really need pelia, so like. Yeah, you also get field spell to pop the fill in. Just be mindful of it, you know. Yeah. You never want to actually do is like end on like Rain of Heart or something plus Dweller, because then then you lose the Dweller to Super Poly. Actually, yeah, we we don't even have to Apollo negate the the Super Poly, because they go yeah. okay Super Poly, uh, Sharon and Palea. They're gonna make their own Palea. We're gonna trigger our Sharon. And that's just for the sake of argument. Let's say we make a. Uh, Okay, we're not gonna have the Pelia. We can make kit here. And then make kit. And then just this and pop your Pelia. They have to change their Pelia dweller. And like you say, okay, that's fine. Pelia resolves. That goes for Gabriel. On the new chain, you can just dweller. And since the Pelia is not on board, this is not gonna be negated. And then you can just go kit. Uh, here we can't make anything better. You probably just get follow up. Or no, or here you can um send a name and then fuse into Garuda with the Pelia. To get more things in rotation, mm. if you want to, but check check your graveyard real quick. We have no names in graveyard. Yeah, you have no names in graveyard, so then you probably just add follow up here. You can also, if you want to really, really uh, gamble, just get a hotness, because right now you're gonna have every single name possible in deck that you play. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of high roll into a name, just hotness, and then hotness gonna mill. Let's see if I'm going to add name. Milt Rhino, which is good, and Vivid Tail, which is very good. But uh, 
If you mail the name and then we make a route. You'll you'll have plenty of follow up here, so it's it's really not just you. Okay, then let's just do one or more test hands. I'm thinking danger just here. Danger. Yeah, you just danger here. There's, there's nothing about it. Yeah. So. Do you sit beforehand? Probably not, right? Sorry. I was just thinking, do you set a card before you danger, but probably not? I don't think, like, because, uh... Maybe you can set, like, all... No, but yeah, you, you just keep everything in hand. So you yeah. Danger here. So, uh... One to this five, it would be called by Grave. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because it's reversed. <laughs> okay, and now this hand is pretty alright. I mean, as long as you saw any monster here, you were fine, so you can get the Shaven Mills. And now this hand is more than alright. Because now this hand has access to both engines, because we now we saw a perfect card. Uh, shouldn't you use the Nessie? Instead of the Shaven? Mm. Yeah, well, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, that's my bad. Because keeping the Shaven on board lets you later link it off and then revive it back to get the mill 5. Yeah, we're, we're not going to revive it off because we already have trap, wait, wait, so yeah. we're going to revive a, uh, a mirror. Let's say you didn't have trap here, then you, you want that name. Okay. Yeah. And now we're going to add mirror and we're going to have both discards. So we just go perfume, pitch mirror, get tiger. Actually, I, uh, I just messed up. You, you first pitch uh, certain events. And then Serenade Dance is going to pitch the Meru. And that's going to special summon a... Probably Chicks better, yeah. So just to, to go over that, you Perfume, pitch Serenade, Serenade, pitch Merly. Uh, I think there's a way of going for a cross ship. In this situation, since you want to deck fin a bit to make your mills better, I think it's fine just dumping Martin here. Hey, you definitely Martin. You definitely dump Martin here because you already had to. You already use your serenade dance, so milling Martin does nothing for you. So you want to get rid of Martin to get rid of another redundant mill in your deck. Just one second, but I get rid of the cats. Also, so that doesn't sound weird, I did not get rid of the cat. I just got rid of whatever the cat was messing with. Just for clarification. Uh, there's a lot we can do here. and uh, But I think milling 8 is just uh, better. Yeah. You, you always want to get like these kind of like your kick close mill out early and such, just so you can see what you're working with first. Yeah, especially because then you your your curious gets just infinitely better. Okay, so we milled every single name. We only used Havanus at this point, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So yeah, you just used both here. Yeah, it is risky and we're gonna get nipped. Actually we we, we keep sharing here. I'm pretty sure we keep sharing here. Is there a reason to? Just playing your own nib, I think. I think you're yeah, gonna, gonna have. Around, like, yeah, because I think like we're gonna third, have enough bodies the anyways. Third fusion, the third fusion is very important. It's like very insignificant if you're going first and making a board at the third fusion. Like most of the time, it's just for an extra paleo, which doesn't really matter. Because you already have Apple Griffin. Or it's just for Mud Dragon for more bodies. But here, you already have a lot of bodies, so. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna the keep first, it. The first two fusions are very important. The first two fusions and the kick close and then uh, Garuda, those are like, you always want to be doing that every game. But then the third fusion, it's like, if you get it, you get it. And it's also RNG, so it's like, it's fine. Hello, it's you, Chuluna. <laughs> yeah. So we're just gonna do this. Recycle the kit. Get in the cross sheep zone. Uh... And then, yeah, here we go, cross sheep. Yep. 
and now we start our Lunalite place. Which then, because we have Cross Sheep, we just get a free uh, Curious out of it. You want to... no, no. Sometimes mm -hmm. you want to Appaloosa. Well, most of the time you want a Curious first before Appaloosa, but sometimes, rarely, you can Appaloosa first. But I think you're just curious. Yeah, I, I don't think we have enough bodies to yeah. go Appaloosa here first, actually. If you have, like, a lot of bodies, like, if you hit, like, Zephyros and Martin early into your rotation and stuff, then you can always go Appaloosa first with all those extra Luna Light names. Just be extra safe. But here you just go out Curious. You're yeah. working with, like, not everything. And then, uh, yeah, Curious 1, Guru 2. Draw. Uh, it's a very, very good draw. Sending Anti-Spell. Send Mill Tree. Hits your names. It's kind of bad to get more names rotation. You kind of want to keep a, a bit of names in deck, but at the worst, it's no fodder. Here, I think you're only really fishing for like an Emerald Bird here, but other than that, well, and Zephyros, I guess. Yeah, the Zephyros would, would be really good here because they're going to have to snow twice, I think. Because, yeah, we'll go Martin here. Should get Tiger. Go Tiger, get Chick, and uh, actually we just had to snow once, but we do lose our Martin, which I'm fine but, here. Actually. So theoretically, theoretically, you want to keep like Martin so you can like loop Chick Tiger on like the third turn and everything, but like it really doesn't matter unless you get your full board broken. But if you're doing things right, you should your board shouldn't be broken like that. Yeah. Especially this turn. They have like sphere mode or something, but you know. Yeah, and right now we're st we're still gonna have a uh, evenly protection zone, so that's fine. So yeah, just snow randomly, and then you get field to get a good discard. I think I banished. Uh, put it back to deck. Yeah. And one more banish. Uh, three more banishes actually. This and crush you. You're never using Cross Sheep. Like, some things uh, like Dark is good to recycle and Lunar Light names in Graveyard. But uh, you're never recycling so, like, Cross Sheep. Once you, get to this, once you get to this point, when you have like lots of Lunar Light, I mean, once you have lots of Tier Element names and all that stuff in rotation, you can just ban you can just banish the extra Danger Nessies and stuff in your grave. Oh, yeah, that's because true. Because at that point, you're never gonna be using those. Oh, you're getting Rhino is good. Yeah. Actually, the field yeah, is so way better than I thought. And also, can discard that. Uh, Griffin draw is really underrated because you're drawing from a 17 card deck, so your draw is always going to be. Especially kind of if you have like sided cards, you want to see. Yeah. yeah. Here is oh, th this is actually kind of good. Yeah. I would actually do this to get a. We can get Havenus. We can get Havenus or Vivid Tail. Do I think I value Vivid Tail here a bit more? Because we already have. Pretty much every name we need. Yeah. Unless you unless you suspect what they're playing, and you know you, you can always adjust the board. It's a very val it's a very malleable thing because like of all the random milling, and after you do all the random milling, you have ways to access your deck with like curious and all that other stuff. So then you can adjust from there to see what you need and what you don't need. Yeah, I would get a Halvenus here if uh if they're on a deck that has like that I know is on three crow and like three bell and maybe even three mice or something. That I know one of my graveyard effects is gonna get negated, so yeah, yeah, versus like hand track heavy decks or something. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I think like uh, the, we recorded for something like forty minutes already, so yeah, I think this is a good test hand session. I just show you the basic combos. I want to get one that's also for breaking boards, so I'm gonna get probably Sentient to play with me. And then we're just going to go second every single game and see what we can do. Probably going to test Sprite, Mathmech, and Tournament as well. Uh, you have to keep in mind if you're going against the Mirror, if they have Valor, you basically have Zeus to try and play. Or something like that, because Valor kind of sucks. But, yeah. that is that, but that is why we side droplets and everything. So Yeah, yeah. If you, guys, you guys know our side. Like... At the end of the day, it's still Tier Element. Dweller is still Dweller. Yeah, yeah, like, all of this can go in. Yeah. 
You have so many uh, cards in your de side de dedicated for Dweller. Plus, you can, of course, always have Havnis to potentially use as a pseudo hand trap or Super Poly to break. Because, like, most good tier players, they are playing around Super Poly. But, like, if anything goes slightly unoptimal, then Super Poly is always good. Yeah, because y you can only play around so much before you have to do some weird stuff. There's also an argument for... Because we already cut Dark Ruler. Because Dark Ruler doesn't help you solve the things that the deck can't push through. Because that can push through a lot. But the things it can't push through, Super Poly helps. But there is an argument for just cutting Super Poly as well and just playing Droplet in the main. I saw some players doing that, but uh, I, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, yeah. S Super Poly is way too good into random stuff. Yeah. Florida Reese has been tough. Just as a closing thought, I played Radiant this afternoon and my rating got. This is singles, but yeah, my rating went down a lot because of Florida Reese. So, I think the deck needs a bit of optimization for that. But we'll see. Thank you very much for joining me, Sand. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, probably tomorrow morning. So, yep. yeah. See ya.